Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Color Club Medal of Honor and I'm going to stamp on it. I've started off with Peel Ease as my base coat and this is the Luscious Medal of Honor. It's a purple hollow. I love it. So watch how gorgeous this goes on. I mean this polish practically puts itself on the nail. It's just lovely. Formula is top notch. Look at that business. Perfect. Being sure to cap my free edge. Definitely want to do that. Got to break Woody out because I got a little messy. I do that. But it's not the polish's fault. It's me. The, the formula is great on this one. And here we go with the second coat. We're going to go on and get that one on there. And I probably could have got away with one coat, but I'm just a two coat gal. So I did the second coat out of habit. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry down because I do want to do some stamping on this. It's just calling for it. There we go. Love it. And there's Woody again. I know, you all are voting for him to get either a vacation or a raise. I'm going to be using the Beauty Big Bang XL 004 today. This is a gorgeous plate. And the Sally Hansen White from the Crayola Collection. You know, one of those Insta Dries. My Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. And I fell in love with this image when I swatched the plate. And I, I just, I'm probably going to use it a lot. I really do like this image. I just think it's gorgeous. It leaves plenty of room for the color underneath to shine through. And I really do like that. And, of course, the Sally Hansen is not a stamping polish but it lives with my stamping polishes. It, it, um, it is a stamping polish at my house. <laughs> it works so well. And there we go. So I'm putting that image on my thumb and my ring finger and I'm gonna flip this plate around and use this other square image for my other fingernails. Just trying to mix it up a little bit. You know, got to mix it up sometimes. We don't have to. There's nothing wrong with the nails being all uniform. Oh, and I am cleaning that plate off with some acetone and a cotton ball. Love, love, love this plate. I think this is one of the coolest plates ever. It's got some really good designs on it. go and I do have a link for that little spark mat down in my description box now if you're interested in finding something like it I have gotten really used to having it for stamping it's it helps me keep my desk clean <laughs> and here we go last stamp awesome sauce and now we're going to get some of this excess off with my tape and this one's coming off pretty well you know some days I have good luck with it and some days I don't and today's a pretty good day for it it's it's working out really nice and I would use just go straight in with my acetone and cleanup brush but with changing my nail polish out so often my nails get some serious abuse my skin around my fingers get it's just you know so to get any of it off with the tape and to minimize this part of the cleanup is is a good thing for my nails and my skin <laughs> I'm gonna top it with the bundle monster smudge free top coat you guys are gonna get about as sick of hearing about that as you are of posh but it really does do good and and I'm really glad that they come out with something like this Looking good. And now I am going to top it with some posh top coat. I do this to seal it in because the Bundle Monster top coat isn't thick at all. 
it's a very thin um, top coat and I haven't even tried to wear it on its own I, I just resort to my habits you know I just go back to what I know and posh is my ride or die top coat so there you go so here's my manicure got a swatch photo coming up. I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this. I um, really enjoyed wearing this one. And that's it for today. So thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.